We're sending it out to the Fox 11 Fieldhouse now. The following segment is sponsored by Aurora Baycare Medical Center. And Katie Furnetton joins us live. Hi, Katie. Hey, good morning. I'm here with Dr. Harold Schock. He is an orthopedic surgeon who is fellowship trained in sports medicine at Aurora Baycare Medical Center. Thank you for joining me this morning, doctor. Thank you for having me. So we want to talk about ACL injuries. Now, I wasn't very aware, but there are different types of ACL injuries. So can we talk about that first? Sure. In general, when you think about ACL injuries, ACL injuries are either functional injuries or non-functional injuries. And, and now sometimes people can have an injury to the ACL where the ACL gets stretched out. And, they, and then can heal and they go on and do the, all their normal activities. The other type of injury is a, a non-functional injury. So if they have an ACL tear, it renders their knee non-functional, something else probably has to be done. And a lot of football fans, we hear this every season, people tearing their ACL. So how does it happen? Yeah, so there's a couple different kind of common mechanisms. Um, sudden stops, uh, pivoting on, over a planted foot, uh, sudden changes of direction, landing from jumps incorrectly, and also sometimes if you have contact specifically from the lateral side to a, to a planted knee. So lots of different ways that different it can happen, very ACL. common. Yeah. So what are the treatment options then for someone who does tear it? Yeah, kind of in general, there's two treatment options. There, there's a non-surgical where we rehab the knee, get the muscles around the knee stronger. And, and a lot of times that, depending on the ACL injury, that may be possible. If, if it's a non-functional ACL, and the patient's an active person, oftentimes they may need a surgical reconstruction. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining me this morning, doctor. Yeah. If you need any more information, you can visit aurorabaker.com slash ortho. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.